Disclaimer, this video is going to be a lot more serious than my others. It's going to touch upon some sensitive topics. The editing in this video is used to illustrate what happened so you guys can understand what went on. I might sound a bit down in this video because I am. It's a sensitive topic to me and all my friends. However, I think it's needed because Cam got so much support. It'd be wrong for his supporters not to know what kind of a person Cameron was. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Originally, I was going to do like a really big expose on Cameron, which I'd release and it'd be really, really well edited. It'd be really like thorough and stuff. But after talking with my friend, uh, shout out Andrew, I decided to just not upload it. So instead of that, I'm going to do a more real video, a video where I can just straight up talk to you guys. I'm going to be doing a real commentary. I'm going to be straight forward with you guys instead so I can convey what happened while keeping it real with you guys because I think that's what you guys all deserve as fans but also friends of Cameron. Cameron was a high YouTuber. He had around 4,000 subscribers, almost YouTube rank. He was getting tens of thousands of views per video and he was friends with a bunch of really big people in the community. He's been doing YouTube for five years, ever since Hive was like big or s even started actually. He's a huge OG, was part of the Scream community, was a Zeka staff back in the day. Um, and he, he was really, really big, right? At one point, he was one of my really close friends. Like, in the community, I had a group chat full of nine other people. He was one of the people inside of it. He was one of the people inside of that group chat full of my closest friends. That's why it came as a shock when on Christmas Day, I was told that he was dating one of my other friends. Her name's going to be kept anonymous, but pretty much she was 15 and he was 18. That might not seem bad at first, right? But there was so much sexual stuff that happened. He would ask for like pictures, but let's just say the sexual kind. He would beg for them. He would tell her that if she didn't give them to him, he'd kill himself. Like, are you, yes, you're hearing it correct. He, an 18 year old pressuring someone way 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 younger to send him pictures of themselves there's so much more to but pretty much he was just a horrible person he was very manipulative he was you know uh so at the time i didn't actually believe that that actually happened i was pretty shocked i was like no way cameron Nah, 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 not Cameron. Because Cameron, I knew this guy. He hated pedophiles. He would be dissing Quintar every day. He hated them. He genuinely... He was the last person I would even think of who would do that kind of stuff. But when I confronted him about it, he lied. He said he was sorry, then took it back in another private group chat. And then his IRL friends who were in that group chat told me, even though... He told them to specifically not DM me about it. Cam wasn't remorseful. He didn't care that what he did hurt anyone. He didn't care about the consequences. What about how the girl felt? What if his audience was influenced or affected by what he did? He didn't care. I guess it comes. It it came as a shock, right? Uh. Because Cameron was one of the main people that I'd look for for advice. He'd be like a brother. He was very, he was very smart. He was a very smart person. And at least when I talked to him, he seemed very wise almost. He was really good for advice. If I ever needed advice, I'd just DM him like, yo, can you help me with this? Whatever. But not just YouTube advice, like just advice on being a good person. I remember Cam was the person who told me how to bounce back when I got my YouTube rank removed, right? Cam was the person who told me that as a YouTuber, I can't be acting a certain way because I have an audience that can get influenced by it. I have an audience that can 
get influenced by the stuff that I say and the stuff that I do. I have an audience that can really ruin their values over something that I do, whether I'm being serious or unserious. At least at that time, Cam was really, really a good friend. He was so good for advice. I went to him whenever I needed anything, pretty much, because I could trust him. I trusted that he would help me with that stuff. I trusted that he would give me the best advice he could. I think that's why it hurts the most, because it's Cameron. Cameron went against his own word, right? So he he just went against his own word. Instead of acting truthfully, instead of being a good role model like he taught me to, he ended up grooming one of his close friends who was significantly younger than him. It just sucks, it really sucks because um, I was so close to this guy, like I was super close to this guy, I, um, he was like family, yeah. Cam had ADHD so I, um, I empathised with him a lot, right. He was someone who taught me that even with all of the disadvantages the world gives you, you can still be really talented. You can still do really well on YouTube, you can still make good content. He was the person who taught me to stop caring as much about my YouTube stats, about how to make decent content which isn't all like following the meta. He taught me how to do so many things and just ended up being a pedo. It, 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 it fucking sucks, it genuinely sucks. Um, it sucks even more because I was a fan of this guy. I watched this content when I was like 11, 12. During quarantine, I'd watch Cameron's videos. Then I became friends with him. He was pretty cool. And then he got, I was told that like he was doing horrible stuff to one of my really close friends, right? I don't know. It, I guess it hurts even more actually because he told the girl and also his RLs specifically not to tell me anything. He told them to specifically stop talking to me. And this was during when me and him were pretty close too. Like, it really sucks. It, it just sucks because it's more than just a YouTuber getting exposed. It's a friend betraying me and my trust and going behind my back to, for what, for what, getting some pictures from an underage girl, okay, okay, okay. like, I'm, I'm sure he could have pulled somebody's own age, it's, it's, it's dumb, it's stupid, uh, I guess it even, it sucks even more, because this guy had so many friends, so, 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 so many friends, and throughout these few months, because I was a person who like made all this public, I've had I think 30, 40 close friends of Cameron DM me like, hey I really appreciate you for exposing him, because that's not who Cam is. Cam wasn't that person when I was talking to him. I think it's depressing, it's, it's literally, it's just depressing. Uh, I think it's even more depressing because I know that's not Cam. Cam would never do that, right? That's not Cam. That's not the Cam that I know. It's somebody who's been taken over by the loneliness and the the sadness that happens when you separate yourself from the real world. It ha that's the that's somebody who. That's somebody who didn't take care of their mental health. That's somebody who neglected their mental health. That's somebody who had no... They... That's somebody who... Who... Didn't really... They lost it. That's somebody who lost it. Cam had pretty much lost that... Like, side of himself. He got really desperate. He was very desperate. He was really lonely, lonely, and no, none of his friends, like, checked up on him. 
and he went through a lot he went through so 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 much which is why even now even after he did all this stuff i still sympathize with him because he was a friend who turned into a pretty bad person but he wasn't born a bad person nobody's born a bad person he was just he just his his surroundings and what he what he chose to do ended up affecting his mental health really badly and he just he just fucked it up he completely fucked it up he didn't go to anyone for help and he just he he he's he he pretty much ruined his life he ruined his life he ruined everything i think the main point of what i'm trying to say is that you need to take care of your mental health but also make sure that your friends aren't mentally doing badly i wish i could have like talked to him more about that side of him okay listen if you get it do the people who are like watching this video still it's a very long video i'm sorry please just make sure to check up on your friends that's like the one thing that i'm asking for because i doubt that if i didn't neglect his feelings he would have done the things that he did i doubt that if he had someone to take care of him he wouldn't have done the stuff that he's done it, it, it's, it's horrible it's just horrible it's a horrible situation i hate it and i don't know it, it, it's fucking horrible um when the girl told me about what happened she was like crying she was fucking crying in her voice memos and stuff she was crying and uh i'm a very like emotional person i get affected when people are emotional i'd like to say that i'm an empathetic person and I don't know, it just fucking hurts seeing my friend being so hurt over someone, how someone else treated her, and it it just fucking sucks, man. Yeah, sorry I'm back, I had to like take some time off, but uh, if you're gonna like take anything from this video, please, please just check up on your friends, make sure that they're doing well, make sure that they're living life to the fullest if he if they're not doing well make sure to check up on them make sure that they're doing all fine make sure that even if they might seem happy like make sure that they are truly happy because people hide their feelings so so well it's f like creepy it's freaky it's so freaky um yeah